Hey, what's up? My name's Tony. I'm Robbie from Godsmack, and you're watching Loud Wire. It started at Godsmack 4. We had Tony, myself, and Shane wrote a bunch of stuff. He comes in, didn't like this, didn't like that. No, 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 no. And then we did the record. We got, we have all this material. We have 40, yeah, 40 songs. Well, let's let's do something with it. And um, let's start. It. And, and then we knew that we were going to go on break after that. He wanted to do this, the Godsmack 4 record. Then he wanted to go on break. We're like, well, let's get together. We'll, we'll find a singer. We had a couple of different guys. We ended up with uh, Whitfield Crane. We went in the studio and wrote it. Well, we had written all the songs, but recorded it in two weeks. And then we put it out. And then he didn't really like it, because to him it was like, take singer out, put new singer in. But it really wasn't that. It was more about us being able to express ourselves. Um, Shannon could play whatever he wanted on the drums. I could play whatever I wanted on the bass. And Godsmack, you, you do a little bit of that, but you don't have a lot of freedom. So that, we just wanted a breath of fresh air. And then he didn't really like that idea too much. And then we had a song come out and it was top five on the radio. He didn't like that too much. And then at the end of the day, um, it got squashed. I feel that was the turning point of the band because now we, we went out and did another animal thinking that we could do something with it. And it's hard. Audiences want Godsmack. They don't want this, that. And I learned that from um, the Pantera days. You know, they, they formed other bands and it's just not the same. So that was a turning point in my career of, okay, Godsmack is it. I want to keep that as my focus. Man, it's, it's 19 years, but it's only 16 years signed. So you look at, you know, 1995, we, we formed. We didn't get signed until 98. We started in an attic. I was older. I didn't, never thought this was going to happen. Then we got signed, and that's just the beginning again. You know, I, I don't know how many bands that come and gone with us. And I feel luck, I feel um, skill, it's all that. It's just everything aligned. And then, and then to be here for 19 years with him, you know, it's pretty astonishing. Yeah, we, we started out in clubs. We did, a, um, first thing we did was a club tour with um, Seven Dust. And that was really pretty cool. And it was our first thing we did in the, after we assigned. And then we did the OzFest. And I think one of the big moments was on that first OzFest, I got a gold record, you know, within that first year, and then a platinum record within a few months later. So that, that was pretty, pretty big, you know, getting, um, having that much success so soon. So that was like a big moment, I think. For it me. happened pretty quick. Yeah. Within a year, we were platinum, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. you just made it. <laughs> yeah, you just made it. I mean, me and him were carpenters. Yeah, we were 30, I was up on the roof banging nails, doing roofing, and we're hearing Godsmack song on the radio, people looking at us, what are you doing here? You know, we're not we haven't made yet. money yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we still got to eat. Yeah, so our song was on the radio being pounded, and we're still out there banging nails. Yeah. Um, for me, it's just like, I never forgot where I came from. That's, I'm grounded. You know, if that happened when I was 19, maybe not so much. Yeah, that's true. Oof. Well, I thought I mastered is the difference. Yeah. Um, I grew up, my dad played, he played country and western and, and all, everything. He, told, he said to me, he goes, hey, if you want to make it in the business, you got to be versatile. And at the time I was playing Rush and Aerosmith. So I probably started playing, I think it was Kings and Queens was the first song that I learned from Aerosmith. And then I thought I was learning some Rush stuff and then <laughs> going go back 20 years later, playing it again, going, I don't think I played it the way I thought I played it. Could have been it. over your head there. Yeah, a little bit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but I remember liking Black Sabbath right away. I remember, uh, I think Iron Man, my sisters used to hate that song because I tried to learn it and play it so many times that they'd have to listen to me trying to learn it for hours. On vinyl, too. Yeah, yeah, they hated it, too. Yeah. They were like, we don't like that song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably scared them. Yeah. Scary stuff. 